Yeah. Um, what do you look like? Why are you asking? Because I'm horribly superficial. Well, I get confused for Burt Reynolds all the time. Oh, is that so? Women say that we have a similar musk. Uh-huh. Hey, you asked. Okay, well, that gives me a good start. Now let's see. In my scope, I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. It's hot. And maybe, by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh, you know, PC or whatever they say. Oh my god, you are the whitest man. Wow. <laughs> I don't need a spotting scope for that. And if not shorts, then what do you normally like to wear? Uh, I don't know. I like to look nice, usually. Well, I try now, I guess. Hmm. Had a bit of a schlubby period, did we? Yeah, a good 25, 30 years, yeah. But, um, now you'll put on a, a clean shirt? Yeah. Well, I, I have one that I got for Christmas, actually. Just, um, it's navy with white buttons, but I, I like it. I don't wear it that much, though. Well, it sounds just perfect. Now tell me about your face. I'm looking at you across the bar. What do I see? Uh, hmm. A uh, pretty thick beard. Oh. Have you always had a beard? For a while, yeah. All right. Perfect. I want to know about your eyes. Get out of here. I'm drawing you. I need to know. Your what? Is, is that okay? Uh... Don't... <laughs> don't answer. I'm gonna do it regardless. Fine. Your eyes. Tell me. They look tired, I think. Oh, yeah? Yeah, you know, you hit a certain age and you just... You think you're a younger person who just looks tired all the time. <laughs> Speak for yourself, mister. But I guess that's getting old. Well, some people might see distinguished. Okay, got it. Thank you, Henry. You get what you need? Absolutely. Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome back to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. Here we are in Firewatch again. Looks like we're getting ready to patch up our broken window after we just had a lovely conversation with Delilah, and sounds like she's doing a little creeping on us from way over there. You can see her tower kind of in the distance there, and uh, she's sketching us up. If you haven't checked out the previous two episodes of Firewatch, please do. I'm not going to spoil anything too much right now. I don't want to ruin ruin it for those who might just be joining us randomly all right get a couple more boards let's find ourselves some more boards to patch up our window if you guys remember what happened uh in this was it the end of the first episode i think yeah the end of the first episode uh some people who we don't know we've got a couple of guesses smashed our windows and stole our sheets and did a couple other things to our beautiful fire tower here there it is and um then in the second episode, we went and uh, we had to go find a down telephone wire. And then what did we do? We we went to a campsite. Yeah. And that's all I'm going to say. If you haven't checked out the previous two episodes, like I said, go check them out. They're on my channel. They're fantastic. This is probably one of my favorite games I've played in a while, at least from a event. Well, I don't even know if I want to use the adventure. From a storytelling standpoint, uh, there's it's it's pretty good. Go check out those videos, and then you should definitely check out the game yourself. So we've got ourselves two boards here. Hopefully that's enough. I don't know where else we would pick up boards. So I guess let's go back up. So here's another board. We'll take that one here. All right, now we can board up our broken window at the top of our tower. So let's head up there. Oh, there was a board right there, too, we could have grabbed. Oh, well, up the stairs we go. Go ahead and leave a comment on down below, as always, what you think's going on in the story. At this point, hopefully, if you haven't checked out the previous two episodes you've left, uh, tell me what you think's going on with Delilah, what you think's going on with the father and son that were here before, what you think's going on with our wife, anything like that. Let me know. The girls from the campsite, the strange man, you know, we, we got a lot we can talk about. I think Delilah might not be as friendly as she leads on, but who knows? It, it's hard to say. She's been helpful, but just because she's helpful doesn't mean she's friendly. So what should I do now? What's next? What's next? 
What do you think is next? Well, you've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the first sign of smoke. Oh, yeah. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task and uh, I'll give it to you. All right, we are ready to work. I think I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. I am glad to hear you've really thought this through. Of course. We've issued you a comfy chair to sit in and everything. You know, it's not really that comfy. I mean, it's wooden and there's no padding. I think I actually got a splinter in my thigh this morning. Aww. Well, regardless, take a seat. The forest depends on you. Ooh, and we're jumping forward a couple of days. So that was day three. Now we're jumping into day nine. And it looks like it's the evening and we're having lunch or dinner. Dinner down here based off the light. Hello, Henry. Having a nice afternoon? I might never leave. Well, uh, I call up with some bad news. Two young women, Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean, were reported missing. They've got parents out in California who haven't heard from them in a week. They were supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody. If they're the girls from last week, then you're probably the last person to have seen them. Uh, you should tell whoever that I'm happy to be questioned. Look, it's not going to be an issue. Uh, I mean, if, if they turn up dead, then maybe. Should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? I... I think it's worth mentioning something. Yeah. I'll, uh... I'll, I'll keep it vague. I, I really don't want to talk to the cops. Me neither. All right, Henry, thanks. Enjoy the sunset. In addition to the great story... Oh, day 15. We're really jumping now. Wowzers. Okay. Henry. Henry, wake up. Get out of bed and pick up the radio. What do you want? Hey, you big dumb idiot. Hi, Jules. Oh, you sound tired. Hmm, I am. Are you having a nice time? Yeah, it's good here. It's beautiful, you know? <sighs> That's great, Henry. Really great. <sighs> well, I'll let you get back to sleep then. Mm, okay, Jules. Wait, are we imagining this? Nice? Mm-hmm. Sure. Bye, baby. We've got to be imagining that. Or dream or something, because she's back in Australia, isn't she, guys? She's got to be down in Australia. That's what the, the story said when we were well, earlier. All right, so we're heading to, I think, the... Yep, Is it supply too much drop. Is in the ass to bring supplies all the way up to our towers? Well, I get my stuff hand-delivered. Oh, how's that work? It's the perks of a decade of service. You're out hiking in 90-degree heat, and I get to do crosswords. Isn't life miserably unfair? <laughs> anyway, when you find the supply drop, remember it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there, and I don't want to have to call in for more. There should be loads of good stuff, though. Beans, prunes, jerky. You know, my sister eats six prunes a day. Six. She's, like, really precise about it. She'd be great at this job if she didn't need wheelbarrows full of marijuana to function. All right, we got to go up. Up our slack lines here. So we actually explored up here earlier. So we we did check like out the supply two drop. Two weeks ago, you called me in the middle of the night. You were sleeping, I guess, and all I heard was the name Jules through the mumbles. I just thought it was so sweet. I wanted to wake you up, but then I thought maybe you were having a nice conversation and I'd just be spoiling it. Is there anything else you want to tell me about her? Uh, yeah, let's be honest here. Actually, look, I wasn't honest with you about her. Well, why not? Because I messed up. She got really early Alzheimer's and I lost her. 
she's still alive. She's being taken care of back in Australia because that's where she's from. She's, she's there. Oh my God, Henry. And that's it. <sighs> I'm so sorry. Yeah. <sighs> Henry, listen. I, oh my God, I'm so sorry you've gone through that. I, I don't know if you've thought of it this way, but her family is taking care of her, and you need to take care of you. Thanks. I'll let you keep hiking. All right, so we're at our supply catch here that we already opened, and we are two forks. We could steal other food, but we're not going to be jerks. We're going to take our supplies and our supplies only. And let's go ahead and uh, right. say we got the supplies. I got I need out of here. Time to chow down. Just yours, right? Who do you think I am? Day 64? We're really jumping now. Wow. We went from day 3 to day 64 so far in this episode. Ooh, we got a... You've got a front row seat for what might be the biggest fire of the year. Yeah, it's really going. I'm gonna call it in. They'll send in a hotshot crew for some suppression, but... I bet we'll be stuck with her for the rest of the summer. And... She doesn't have a name yet. I usually think of something funny or something practical or a little risque when coming up with them. But why don't you do the honors? Ooh, we get to name the fire. The big fire, the flapjack fire, or what about the lyle? We'll go flapjack fire. Uh, maybe we call it the flapjack fire. Can you sell that as a name? You really like that, huh? Yeah, I said I did. It's funny. Fair enough. Flapjack fire it is. They'll probably ask me if it was a camp cooking accident or something. All right, let's go ahead and back inside. So creek down the hill, and um, you know what my favorite thing to do is? What's that? I love to take a bottle of whatever I have on hand, plunge it deep into the water, and let it chill in there all day. And then on nights like tonight, when it is so disgustingly hot, I have something nice and cool to drink. I learned that from my sister in Santa Fe. She'd do that with a bottle of tequila near her house and make margaritas the size of your head. You'd like it there. <laughs> I'm sure I would. Sounds pretty great. It is. Are you looking at the fire? Uh, no, I'm not. You should. Let me know when you are. All right, we'll go back outside and call. Okay, I'm looking at it again. I love how they look at night. During the day, it's just smoke, but when the sun is down, you can just get lost. You know, in a real fire, watching real fires, I totally agree. You just get mesmerized by yeah. the flames. I'm glad you're here. Why do you say that? Because I do. I'm not crazy. I mean, we've had such a good time, right? Where is she going with this? Yeah, I think so. I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you. Not in the same way. And I know you're not really available, but... I want you to know, well... Maybe it'd be nice to get together at the end of the summer. Um... Look, we don't have to plan or even talk about it. I'm... I'm just having the thought. I wish I was over there. We're gonna let that one sit. Nice to be near somebody. We could talk without these radios. We could, um, you know. <sighs> It'd be nice to be close to someone. Why don't we both just go watch this fire and try to imagine all the old dead things that's burning away? Day 76. We're moving right along here in Firewatch. Delilah seems to be warming up to us, but it could be an act. I think it might be an act. It's one fish, and I'm sick of all the stuff I got to eat. No, I won't tell anyone you're a poacher. <laughs> that reminds me, I keep hearing reports from Fish and Game about a problem bear they're trying to keep tabs on. Can you search around the lake for fresh tracks and just let me know what you find? There was a crew burning fire lines out to the east, and, um, you know, I think sometimes it riles up the wildlife. Yeah, we'll go look for some bears. Uh, sure. There's no that problem. campfire from me day probably. one. You are such a drama queen. <laughs> Ugh, can't believe I'm gonna leave this planet as a pile of bear shit. 
Thank you, Henry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, here's the lake. I hear some ducks moving around. Ooh, we got a, a notepad here? Let's pick up this clipboard and see what it says. Mmm. What? Uh, D, I found a clipboard down here, and I, uh, there's something strange going on. At the lake? What's up? Someone has written down what we said to each other, have been saying. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you, not in the same way. No way. Wait, hold on. Something's out here. Yeah, what is going on towards Henry? the... Okay, let's Henry. hold on to this. Um... You didn't find and eat any mushrooms, did what you? Is, here's the radio. Hot, but also, you know... I found a walkie-talkie out here, too. It's going shit out. Oh my god. What hat? What? No, Henry. Henry? Are what? You there? What happened, Henry? I. Hell, I just. I got hit in the head. Punched or something by someone. Are you serious? What the hell is going on out there? I don't know. Jesus Christ. Let me get this straight. You found a clipboard with, what, transcripts of our conversations? What else is on it? I don't know. It's gone, along with a radio of theirs. You know, somebody out here could have just killed me, Delilah. I don't... What the fuck is going on? What's Wapiti Station? I, 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 I don't know. I saw the name Wapiti Station right before I was cold cocked. Does Wapiti Station mean anything to you? Wapiti Meadow. Maybe it's Wapiti Meadow. It's it's on our maps. It's not too far from where you are right now. It's north of the lake. It, it looks like there should be a trail somewhere on the north shore of Jonesy Lake. I'll uh, I'll start hiking that way. Wapiti now. Station, Wapiti Meadows. Okay, so we need to go that way. Let's go to the catch. Sure you saw what what you saw, Henry. Maybe you pissed off some more campers and they came back to sucker punch you. Why would I make this up? It's an insane lie at worst, and a shitty prank at best. And you've been feeling okay? I feel fine. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I believe you, but that conversation was from two weeks ago. I know they were. So what's to say that they don't have transcripts from three, four, or five weeks ago? Our entire relationship, friendship, our, our whole summer. Someone is out here with a walkie-talkie, taking notes and talking to God knows who. What the hell do you think is going on at this place? Apparently a lot of following you around taking notes, which is unfucking believable Henry. Yeah, you're telling me. Alright, I'm on my way to Wapiti Meadow. I'll let you know what I find. Okay. There, there's got to be a reasonable explanation. Also, I'm gonna call around and see if anyone's had anything weird happen to them or seemed spooked. Uh, I don't want to make this bigger than it is yet, you know? Yeah, understood. Yeah, okay. Hike safe. Oh my god, what is going on, guys? Leave me a comment down below what you think happened there. It's got to be the strange man. Or is it maybe the father and son? I don't know. I am completely confused. Let's go ahead and read this note that we got here in the supply box. Uh, dated 82986. Run. Got some bad news back at home, so hopefully they'll let... Me out of here for a while. Who's to say, though? Budgets being what they are. Did you get my notes about what went down in Wapiti? Ooh, that's where we're heading. Sheriff isn't too pleased with me, but I don't know. I probably overdid it. Wish you could have been there. I guess you must have got you must have got hung up. Dave, P.S. Amigos in Spanish and professionals in Italian. Whew, okay, I I ooh, I don't know what's going on, guys. We've we got some curveballs coming at us, I think, and. I don't think the story's gonna end the way I've been thinking it might end, based off what just happened. It's, um, yeah, that was strange. Uh, can we not go this way? Or do we gotta go out here and swim? Let's go back to our map here really quick. All right, so we overshot. We need to go back to the trail. Got it. I thought we could work our way this way based off the map, but apparently not. So let's head up, I'm assuming this way now. There we go. Up the road we go. What are these wisps? Cottonwood, maybe? I don't know. All right, let's get back on our run here. 
I suspect we're going to have to go ahead and hike down this. Hopefully no one cuts the rope while we're walking down here. Man, that was... That was something. It's got to... What... We weren't involved in anything prior to coming out here, but then again, we don't know. Henry could be an unreliable narrator. Um, what? Ooh, there's a car... Oh, for the trail. Okay. Not that crazy. Let's keep hiking this way. Uh, running this way. My screen just froze up a little bit there. I thought we were about to get hit again. Uh, can we cross this? Can I make this jump? No. I wonder if we have to jump this eventually. That seems like we might have to head that way at some point. Oop, there's a fence. There's a fence. We've got some... Whoa, Delilah, there's a big chain link fence between me and the meadow. I, I don't think I can get past it. Uh, a fence? Yeah. How big? Big. It goes off in both directions. Acres. But what the fuck is going on out here? Whatever it is, someone doesn't want anyone to know about it. Sometimes biologists will cordon off a little area to study flora or whatever, but that's only a few square feet usually. That's not what this is. <sighs> well, see what you can Floppity. do to get past it. All right, we got a gate. And what are the odds they left the gate unlocked? Pretty low, I'd imagine. All right, let's um it's like goddamn area 51. Maybe they've got aliens. That'd be exciting. Yeah, we'll see about US that. code 1863. Hmm, we'll have to look into that. Maybe I'll put it, I'll put it in the um I'll put it in the video description. All right, we hit the gate a couple times. We can't get in there. I've given it the good college try. Uh, no dice. Oh, come on. We could get around here. Oh, shit. I I don't know how long I can dick around out here until someone notices. God, if you were an actual firefighter, you'd have that gate down in two shakes. <laughs> hey, actually, those guys doing the controlled burn, they might be able to help. Go Where steal an axe? Beyond Ruby River, there's a scout camp. They burned a line a few days ago that should let you hike right to them. Well, that's great. If they haven't South left, Ruby they're River. probably the type of guys who would help you get through that fence. Unless they're the ones that hit me. But why would the firefighters hit me? All right, so there's the fence. Wapiti Station. So now we need to go down... We need to, well, that's where the fire was from. Scout camp, way out there. We got ourselves a hike, boys and girls. Okay, so let's uh, let's get to it. Uh, I might jump here, at least till something big happens. So hang tight, and I'll see you when the next big thing happens. Hey, I called around. Things seem normal with everyone else. Has anything strange been happening on your end? No, nothing really. Nothing really, or nothing? Nothing. My door was open the other night, but that's not strange. That doesn't sound like nothing. It's nothing, I promise. Alright, I'm headed toward the camp anyway. Okay. Keep your radio close to you. About my radio. Hey, what you just said, keep my radio close to me. Yeah? Before I got attacked back at the lake, I saw a radio on the ground. Kind of like the one I use. And? Do you think that maybe someone was, you know, uh... I don't know. What? Maybe intercepting our frequency with other radios or something. Henry... It's just a thought. I, I don't even know how you would do that. Yeah, well, you sound worried. No. I'm not, okay? Let's not spin out of control. Just keep hiking. Whatever you say, boss. It's getting crazy out here, guys, in Firewatch. Uh, okay, so we need to go... I think I can go down, and then, yeah, we're going to go this way. So let's put our map down here. Even we don't know what's going on yet, but I don't have a good feeling. I don't like feeling vulnerable. It's not like you can just call the police. I was thinking about the good ones. That's the father and son. If anything weird like this happened to them, happened to Brian, just how scared he would have been. I'm sure he's fine, Delilah. I mean, don't you think if this started happening to them, he or his dad would have said something? I don't know. Ned, Ned was a weird guy. No, nobody is that weird. The moment you hear someone in the bushes or get punched from the shadows, you're getting your boss on the phone. Yeah, I am. Yeah. Let's go this way really quick. Fine. I hope so. 
it, it was three years ago. He's in high school now. He's on summer break. Yeah, There's you're the right. fire. You're right. <sighs> this game is getting crazy. All right, where are we at on the map? I want to see. All right, so I think we're heading the right way now. We need to head down this way. We can call the fire in. Whoa, the flapjack fire isn't going anywhere, huh? No, that's why those guys came out to burn that line. It's at the stage where all we can do is pay attention to it. They're not going to try to put it out? Not yet, apparently. Hmm. I don't know much about firefighting. Uh, I know it's a dangerous job, and glad other people are willing to do that, because I certainly would not feel comfortable. But uh, that's... I guess just who I am. All right, let's go ahead and cross these rocks here and get to the supply catch. Can I jump or do I just, oh. And jump, yeah, we'll get our feet wet, that's okay. Let's see what this supply catch has. Hopefully we don't get hit in the back of the head while we're opening it. Two, oops, three and four. Go ahead and unlock that. And we'll update our map. So we know how to get back there. Looks like there's a nice easy trail. Lending library, there's a few books, some toilet paper, uh, one chance to die. I don't know what, Charlotte Bronte, I know the name. Never read it though. All right, and then we'll grab the note here and then let's go ahead and read that note. Ron, really wish the powers that would that be could issue us radios that didn't suck ass. Most of the time, I'd prefer to keep things pen to paper, but every once in a while, it'd be nice to get a hold of you right away. My sister keeps leaving me messages at the main office, but I don't think she gets that I took the job so I wouldn't have to deal with her or mom. I've been sitting at the spot for a while now thinking about what to say to her, but I'm a quarter of the way through a bottle of flies instead. Miss you, Dave. Oh, that's sweet. All right, we're going to go ahead and hold on to that letter as well, and we'll close our supply catch and into a another freshly burned area, it looks like. Uh, five fires knows how to con pass the controlled burn. Uh, report that. The controlled burn. I can hike right through here now. Yeah, normally they wouldn't do that so close to a body of water, but I think they're extra worried about a fire jumping the river and burning up to two forks now that there's someone in it. <laughs> well, I'm extra appreciative of that. Let's see. The scout camp is southeast of the river. There should be a pond on the way. Got it. All right, recent burn. What happens if a controlled burn gets out of control? Someone gets fired. Hmm. Oh, are you serious? Oh, come on. That one was an honest accident. I'm not even in the mood for wordplay. That's how wound up all this shit has me. All right, let's go ahead and call it in the There's snowmobile. Snowmobiles out here. That's crazy. Looks like one of the poor bastards was cruising across this pond and dumped it. That was not a fun hike back to civilization. Uh, there's a pond. pond out here, not much more than a pile of mud. Uh, do, do you have it on your map? Ah, uh, yeah, I know where you are. Yeah, where am I? Pork Pond. There used to be a sign up for it, but, um, well, folks kept stealing it. Hmm. Uh, because it's called Pork Pond? It's a good goddamn name. That sign would look great in a den, or, you know, anywhere. All right, let's call this in. Camp Arapaho. You're there? Yeah, I am. <sighs> it's been out there since the 50s. I was never really into the idea of the scouts. It's something about men organizing boys around their ideals. Or is that right with me? Beware of weebelos in large numbers. <laughs> Beware of anyone in large numbers. All right, and the broken the bridge. The bridge to the camp is out. Damn. I'm going to walk the ravine and see if I can find some high ground to get across. Good plan. Okay, we'll go this way. Do we got anyone lurking around us trying to get to us? I don't see anyone. Let's go over here. Um, yeah, we'll just keep going here. Well, we could probably cross here. This looks crossable. It wouldn't be fun, but you could cross that. Maybe not. Okay. Guess the game doesn't want us to do that. Oh, there we go. I bet you we got to jump to that tree. Again, we could. I think you could cross that. Not fun, but crossable. All right, up we go here. No, we gotta go around the tree, around the tree. Little uh, cave or something there. It's not letting me get any closer, so I guess that's not it. Uh, okay, let's go back this way then? I mean, where does it want me to cross? I was thinking right here, but still nothing, okay. Some high ground, maybe over here, through the bush. 
More bushes. Nope, still can't cross there. What about over here on this rock? Can I jump from here maybe? There we go, long drop down. All right, we're gonna take that drop. I think this is not a good idea, but we're doing it. All right, and we're on to the camp. Um, nice totem pole right there. Let's go, can we call it in? Nope, okay, no dialogue associated with that. There's the bridge. What was there a, can't cross here. Yeah, we don't. Um, all right, let's go this way. Here comes some shelters, it looks like. Have you ever talked to any of the scouts? No, they haven't been out here in a while, and I generally don't have a lot to say to preteens. Unless it's Brian Goodwin. Well, if forced, I mean, I can make Bear conversation trap. with anyone. Plus, it was sort of fun to hear about all of his nerdy hobbies. What type of nerdy hobbies are we talking about with him? Like a uh, marching band? Oh, no, 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 no. Like comics, model rockets, wizards and wyverns, you know. Ugh. Hey, thanks to Brian, I can almost recall by memory the armor classes of most dragons. <laughs> the what? No, you can't. Hey, planar dragons armor class. Let's see. Okay, no, I believe you. We're good. We're good. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and call the old uh, shelter in, and then we'll call the bear trap in. We blows. For the past 35 years, yeah. All right, and then the there bear trap. bear traps out here in the scout shelters. Ooh, missing person. Scouts are stalwart prey. <laughs> That's messed up. All right, let's take this. And, oh, we already read this one from earlier. We'll go ahead and hold on to it again here. And let's continue down deeper into the camp. I see a fire axe. Firefighters are gone. Yeah, these guys are gone. I found where they were sitting around before getting picked up. Damn. Uh, we're going to take that axe, of course. Uh, I found an axe. If one of the crew left it, that thing is actually called a Pulaski. It looks like an axe to me. This thing will be a huge help. For both getting through the backcountry and getting through that fence. Yeah, of course. All right, and we got a clipboard and it looks like some toilet paper and a trowel. Uh, let's report, oops, report that <laughs> trowel there. Trowel. Maybe I should take it with me. Use it to pop open beers. <laughs> Wow, um, 99% sure that's for burying poop. And I'm holding it. Maybe drop it? <laughs> All right, if you guys have ever been backpacking, yeah, that's exactly what you do. Wasn't there a clipboard? Here we go. Report the memo here. I left something behind. It's like a memo from their boss. Hmm. Uh, next few days, dropping into the thoroughfare on behalf of Dr. Simmons at Wapiti Station. Wapiti Station? Holy crap. Keep reading. Oh, I just thought I would maybe, you know, stop there, let the mystery percolate. <laughs> Mother always said I would need someone to give me a taste of my own medicine. They're running a research site out there. Uh, he was worried about wildfires. Someone is writing down our conversations. And now we find out there's a research site out here that, that, that we don't know about? What are they researching? Uh, us. They're researching us. You think they're studying you and me? I do, yeah. I mean, maybe it's about studying two strangers who talk every day. Like, if you put someone in isolation with someone else, what they do. Yeah, that's what I think. Well, fuck that. Agreed. I think we should allow for the possibility that this is all just a big misunderstanding, but... God, if you saw what you said you did... Fuck, Henry. Yeah, I saw it. Okay. So what's next? Well, I've got an axe, so I can figure out a way to get over the ravine and back towards the site. Sounds good. Check in when you can, and keep an eye out for anyone following you. Yeah, I know. I'm going to keep a close eye. All right, let's go ahead and read this officially. Squad Boss Grant Carson, 71089, Wyoming Interagency Hotshot Crew, Paint Rock Rangers District, 1220 North 8th Street, Gray Bowl, Wyoming, 82426. Regarding Dr. Simmons at Wapiti Station, Thoroughfare Region, Square Boss Carson. In the next few days, you and your team will be dropping into the Thoroughfare Region of Shoshone National Forest to cut a fire line south of Ruby Ridge. I am writing to you on behalf of Dr. Ben Simmons at Wapiti Station. He reached out to the superintendent with wildfire concerns about his research site. Upon your return, someone... Uh, from his office will want to speak with you as part of a wildlife risk assessment of the region. I told them that they have nothing to worry about and that your team fire lines are the most 
potent preventative measures in protecting their site, even though they'll be more than a mile away. But I think they've got insurance companies to answer to that. Thanks, uh, as always, for your service. Rich uh, Solescaro, something uh, superintendent. So, of course, we're going to hold on to this letter as well. And I think we're going to chop this tree down. Henry, choppy choppy. And there it falls down. And now we can cross over the ravine. So I was right. We were going to cross here at some point. Just not uh, not at the right time. Okay. I, I had a thought. Let's hear it. Yeah. Okay, so let's assume we're being tailed. Or you are, at least. Where are you right now? Just on my way back, in and out of trees in the middle of nowhere. Do you see anybody? No, definitely not. All right, so uh, tell me what you think of this. What was that? Did you just cough? No. Did you just cough? Oh, fuck. Oh. Um, there isn't any way someone, like, another lookout could be on this line, is there? No. Not without tapping our radios. Get what? in your tower. Shut the door. Don't leave and don't use your radio. I'll call you. Understand? I will call oh. you. Oh. Day 77. Oh my god, guys. What is going on? I'm getting goosebumps over here. Whoa. Oh my. Okay. Um, wowzers. Fair Tower, this is Two Forks calling you for the oh fiftieth time today. The flapjack fire continues to move in a southerly fashion. Delilah, for fuck's sake, answer your radio. Hello, sunshine. Sorry, went out for a little bit. What can I do you for? All right, I think we're going to go ahead and end it there. We'll end it on a high suspense point. Something is going on out here in the thoroughfare region in Firewatch. Thank you so much for coming out and watching this Tooth and Scrub video, and we'll see you in the next one.